uh, by, by making derogatory comments and Prince, I, I guess I call upon you since you were an advocate for, and the rest of you voted for it, although I did not, because I could see that this would present problems at a future date. But I do think that you need to remind them that they all agreed to that document. And it does say in there, I can find it real fast, I'm sure, but I think it's page nine, that council members shall not make derogatory uh, comments about other council members. And I think this is a derogatory comment. Since when is a motion to censure or a resolution to censure derogatory comments? Well, derogatory it doesn't come with facts. And you pretty much told me you have no facts. You have the spirit, I believe is the word you yes, use. You have good. intentions, yes. what you believe are true, but you really don't know anything, do you? You don't. So I, I appreciate that you're making, you know, the people in the back, the vocal three, uh, happy with this, and that's really what you're after, I believe. But as far as as the betterment of the city, I mean, I can tell you right now that uh, the EUB would not have happened if I left in December uh, 27th when I purchased the house, because no one here would have would have ever followed that through. The charter ordinance, Chris had a year to take care of that. I I asked about it many times. Uh, I made a uh, you know a point uh, of the vacancy the night that early April a year ago of the danger of having a four-person quorum, and you had an opportunity, Steve, mm -hmm. to have attended the meeting last week. By the way, I did not have an opportunity. You don't have a meeting phone? last week. I cannot attend and vote over the phone. You know this, Larry. I, I don't know. We've done that in the past. No, we have not voted over the phone, Larry. I've uh, been attending meetings longer. Uh, votes have been recorded over the phone, although I believe incorrectly. I don't believe that our ordinances allow us to do that. Like I said, and, and Tori could probably back me up on this, yeah. votes have been received over the phone, uh, recorded, uh, although I figured probably incorrectly, uh, mostly prior to my being on council. <coughs> No, I, I appreciate the comments, but I'm a good guy. You are. Uh, because uh, I am upholding the law. I've made a lot of improvements that would have never happened had I left on December 27th when I closed on my house. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm a legal resident. I don't have owe you any explanation, or you, Tori, or you, Heath, as to what my intentions are. I'm occupying the house on a daily basis up until this point uh, every day. And my family has occupied the house every day. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you do you have evidence to the contrary? I'm not I'm not parked on your doorstep, Larry, but I do know that virtually every time I've been over there there's it's it's been empty. You, do you have a camera inside the house, Steve? No, I, mean, I do, I do not have, have a camera inside I, the house. I have a certain number of cars and a certain number of garage spaces. So unless you, you are tracking my every movement, you really I'm don't not. know. I would like to just proceed to a vote. Uh, I, I would like to say that I am disappointed that we got a motion in a second about Council Member Harrison here. Audience vote? Audience talk? Public no comment. Public comment? Uh, comment? Yes. Uh, which takes us out of order, but it, considering we, well, no, considering we missed it and, and it is part of what we allow by the rules of procedure. Uh, and we've got other people that are sure, willing to speak on both sides of the issue, but uh, if there are people in the audience that would like to speak about <coughs> resolution number 1907, please step forward, state your name and address for the record. Denedrine Herbert, 223 West Main. Um, I am here every meeting and I cover and don't usually speak because I have a whole editorial page. But in this instance, I'm a little disgusted that you guys aren't waiting for Councilwoman Harrison. She waited for you and you were stranded in an airport and had every opportunity to at least listen via phone and, and offer input. I've been to a bazillion meetings in which that has happened. And then I'm a little disappointed that I don't believe any of you have actually asked Larry personally outside of this meeting what his plans are because I've done that. And it's, I, that to me is 
really disturbing. And finally, because I sit in every single one of these meetings and listen to you guys babble for hours, it behooves you to do that before you waste everyone's time. That's it. Thank you, Denidri. Is there anyone else in attendance that would like to speak about resolution number 1907? Any other comments or questions? Yeah, I do actually have one. And, and Denidri beat me to that. I was waiting for us to finish up. Um, I spoke the same way at the last meeting that I think this is a discussion to be had by the five members of the council. And I believe that Councilwoman Harrison should be here this evening. So with that, I'd like to entertain a motion to table this until the next council meeting. It could be added to the attention. But I'd like to table this motion and hope that we might have an opportunity to discuss it further at another time. I'll I beat think you, it is I'll, a discussion I'll, for all five. I'll beat you to it. Okay, Larry. Uh, 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 Heath, I'll, I'll be willing to withdraw the motion uh, for, for, mm -hmm. the, for the uh, resolution if we, if, we can have this, um, if we can have this discussed and voted on at the next council if meeting. We, if, what, if he tables it for the next council meeting, then, then that will work. Uh, we've got a motion to table. We have a second. Oh, I, I will. I will preempt this by 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 offering uh, by by offering to withdraw my motion. Thank, actually, I think we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, motion, Freeman, second, Roberts, that we table table discussion and a vote on resolution number one nine zero seven <coughs> until the next council meeting, which will be uh, June sixteenth. Uh, <laughs> All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Can I vote on this, sir? On a tabling of my clinching? Or is that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's up to you whether you believe we've got both. Yeah. Yeah. We've got both for passage. Right. Oh, oh, that's fine. If there's a question yeah. in your mind, abstention. I'll wait for a break. Okay. I'll stay. Okay. So, uh, Roberts, uh, uh, Freeman, shoot. Voting in the affirmative. Uh, Councilmember Fotovich abstaining. Uh, uh, discussion on resolution number 1907 is tabled until the next council meeting. I believe that is it for council updates. Well, I did want to wait, but uh, unfortunately it's lost a little bit of the state. But uh, obviously, the number one thing in the chart 66% of the individuals that replied to the survey thought that it, uh, at least thought a priority should be our traffic flow systems and tonight we passed one that was the second uh, meeting in a row or second out of the last three where we passed traffic issues and also the quiet zone so it, it's nice I know we get distracted by some other things um, and distractions are never fun but actually the, the task at hand is for the citizens and we've been able to respond right away and thankfully with uh, Brian and his team's hard work the state helped pick up the task for some of this as well so that's even a better icing on the cake but I didn't want that to go unrecognized even though it was a distraction before then. Uh, and I'm glad that you took us back on to uh, an update mm -hmm. path. Uh, we've got a work session scheduled for next Monday. Uh, you know, back in March, uh, I handed out a recommendation after the uh, meeting that we had with the, uh, the and panel work session and panel discussion that we had. I'm sorry you weren't able to attend that, Steve. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, I was uh, I was inspired to update the recommendations I had. I'm going to share them with you because I'm still hoping that we're going to get some some ideas coming forward at this next meeting and and, and make some progress. So uh, I've got enough comment uh, of these for members of the council, and if there's anybody in the audience that would like one, uh, they are welcome to it. So. I will get one to Councilmember Harrison. Uh, we've got one for the press if they desire. Does anybody else have council updates? I, I would like to see a new process for the uh, appointments because okay. I, I don't. As, from what I understand, no one has ever replied because I think we all we are all afraid okay. of violating COVA. Uh, secondly, I don't think it's a good practice to have people uh, putting in the writing uh, in via email why they don't want somebody. And third, it really doesn't comply with the new direction for um, you know appointments, which is 
we, you know, we interview the candidates publicly, which is a very transparent